Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I am kind of testing a new, like, angle today, so let me know if you guys like it. Um, I don't, I haven't made up my mind how I want to be situated in here. I'm trying to get as many of my um, perfume bottle pictures in as I can, but I've just been, I'm having the hardest time, like, trying to work out, um, like my the best filming situation in here but anyways this is what we're gonna do today and I have a bunch of fragrances here I'm gonna jump right in I actually don't have any full bottles because I've been doing um, I've been doing testing of some other fragrances and um, everything that I've worn this week has either been a sample or a travel spray so I'm gonna start with this one here this is alien goddess intense and Oh, I love this perfume. I love this this one so much more than the original Goddess. Um, when the original Goddess came out, I jumped and just bought a full bottle of it blind. Um, ended up not loving it because I feel like Alien Goddess, though it is a really beautiful perfume, I feel like it smells very generic. It's been done a million times before. Um, it's not anything special or new. So when they so when they released the intense, um, I was smart and just bought a travel spray. I actually love the Alien travel sprays. I think that the bottles are really really cool, and I just love this one. Um, this is it's still kind of like a beachy floral coconut. This one is smooth and creamy though, really, really warm, um, dark, sultry smelling, and I was just really, really craving it, so yeah, I wore this one. Um, it was really, really hot out the day that I wore this, like probably way up in the 90s. We've been having, I think we've had a couple days that it's gotten to right around 100 degrees, so it was super, super hot, and I think this one lasted for maybe about six hours. I was able to put something else on the day that I wore this because it was just no match for the heat, um, and I did have to go out in the heat that day, so yeah, this, um, I wanna say I got about six hours out of it, which is perfectly fine for me, so, but yeah, I do love this. If you are interested in the goddess, uh, fragrances this is definitely it's been my favorite one I think they just came out with a new goddess perfume um, if I remember correctly so anyways that is uh, Mugler alien goddess intense okay then I wore the two travel sprays that I just picked up um, the first one is black opium eau de parfum over red I love this one this is so beautiful this has got a really interesting form of jasmine in it. It's like, it's Moroccan. It starts with an O, which tells me that it's synthetic because it does have a registered trademark symbol next to it. So I think that it's a synthetic uh, form of jasmine, but it's like Moroccan. It starts with an O. I'll have it on the screen for you. Um, it's got orange blossom in it. It's got coffee, uh, vanilla. It's yummy. It smells like black opium, but this one, the jasmine comes out on my skin more, and it must be whatever that synthetic jasmine is that they're using. It must just really like my skin. I don't know, but I get a lot of the jasmine. But then the jasmine does uh, kind of fade to the background, maybe, I don't know, about 15 minutes or so after it dries down, and then I'm just left with black opium. Um, it is a little bit more of like a brighter black opium. It's not quite as like milky. I don't know. I don't know how, what I'm trying to say. It's not quite as like milky, sweet. It's definitely as sweet as all of the other black opiums, but I don't know. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit brighter. It's beautiful. I love it. I only got maybe three hours out of this or so, um, which isn't bad for a black opium for me because usually black opiums just do not perform well on me at all. So I'm feeling like if I got three hours out of this in the high heat, that I will probably, uh, that this will probably work uh, way better in the cooler weather. So I'm gonna put this away until it starts to cool down and then I will retest it. Um, but this is a definite, 
like win for me. I really love this fragrance. So anyways, that one is YSL Black Opium Eau de Perfume over Red. Okay, next I wore the other travel spray that I picked up. This is YSL Libra Labsalu Platine. Um, it's funny because when I did my little haul video, I talked about how I felt like this was uh, almost cold smelling and it's because it's got aldehydes in it, which I didn't, I hadn't looked the notes up yet when I did that video, um, but it does, it has aldehydes in it, which is what gives it that kind of cold blast, especially when you first spray it. And then I also talked about how I felt like this one was much more lavender heavy and this one also has two types of lavender in it. Um, it's got diva lavender as well as white lavender. So it's definitely lavender heavy. In the bottle, I almost get like a, I almost get like a clean laundry type scent from it. Um, it definitely still smells like Libra, but I get this really beautiful, almost like sweet, clean laundry scent from it. Um, I do get that on the skin, but only in maybe the first few minutes after I've sprayed it. Um, once I've sprayed it and this is dried down on skin, it does smell very similar to all the other Libras, but this one is, or Libre, whatever, however you say this, um, but this has a coolness to it. It has a really beautiful, kind of slightly icy coolness to it. It's very, very bright, very crisp smelling. It's still sweet. It, it definitely doesn't have the warmth that you get with a lot of the other um, Libras, but I love that about it. It's a perfect hot weather version. I'm obsessed with this one. I love it so much. Um, this, aside from the Intense, this might be my favorite one that's that they've released. I can't believe in like, how long has this perfume been out? Maybe three or four years and they've already released like four flankers. It's crazy, but it, it's just such a good fragrance. Um, I love it, but yeah, I really, really love this one. If you love Libra, but you are looking for something that's more hot weather appropriate, that's uh, a little bit crisper, a little bit more wearable in the heat, this is definitely it. This is perfection. It performs like all of the other Libras. It lasts forever. I think I got eight hours out of this at least, and that is in high heat. It's, it's so good. I love it. I love YSL Libra there. I mean, I make no secret about how much I adore this perfume. Um, I feel like this perfume is going to be one that just absolutely stands the test of time. And in 20 years, we're going to be talking about how we've got original bottles of this perfume um, and how incredible it is. So anyways, this is YSL Libra Labsalu Platine. I love it. Okay, let's get into the duos, the sniff sample that I tried that, oh gosh, and then another one just from my indie samples that I have. Okay, let's start with the sniff one. I was so excited to try this perfume. After I smelled it on paper, I fell in love with it. I was so hoping that this would be a perfume that I was gonna love and want a bottle of. Um, this is the one called Tarte Deco, and I've got the box right here. Um, Tarte Deco is black cherry, rose, jasmine, birchwood, vetiver, and vanilla. And when you spray this, just spray it like on a, um, if you spray it on a blotter or just spray it in the air, you get a lot of that yummy black cherry. It's sweet. It's it's vanillic. It's like this really beautiful black cherry and vanilla fragrance. So I went to town with this. I sprayed about half of this. So like a full mill, I just went to town with it. And for the first like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to love this. This is such a beautiful cherry fragrance. It's it's just so good when you very first spray it. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a house that like the base for their fragrances is going to be that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA or scent profile because after about five minutes, this, it smelled, I don't wanna say it smelled like Baccarat Rouge 540, but it definitely had that like fuzzy, sweet, Baccarat Rouge 540 scent profile, but if you just added cherry to it, um, 
that's what it smelled like on me. So I walked, I sprayed it all over, I waited a little bit, I was kind of like, you know, getting a feel for it. Walked out into the living room, my husband was out there, he was like, oh, I love that, what perfume is that? And I told him and he was like, that smells so good. And I was like, really, you like it? And he was like, I mean, it's fine if you, he said it smells like what everybody else smells like because everybody is wearing either the Sweet Ash by this house or Ariana Grande Cloud or Baccarat Rouge 540. I mean, everybody is like catching on to that scent profile right now. So it's just all you smell, like literally on everybody when you're out and about, where I live anyways. Um, and I heard that like New York was like that like two years ago that you couldn't walk down the street without smelling Baccarat Rouge 540 on somebody. So we're currently in that kind of stage where I am at in the South. Um, and yeah, that's the first thing my husband said was that, yeah, it smells good, but you do smell like everybody else. And I was like, yeah, I know, because it dries down to that Baccarat Rouge 540 scent profile, which I already know that Sweet Ash is gonna dry down to that. And now I'm really concerned that the Coconut one, that or the Vanilla Vibes, as well as the Coco Shimmy, I'm really concerned that those two are gonna dry down to have the 540 scent profile and I just, I'm like, that's why I haven't tested any more of them because not only did it have that 540 scent profile, this thing is a beast. It lasted absolutely forever on me. I think I got like 10 hours out of this fragrance. It would not wear off and the whole time I was just kind of miserable because I'm so over that scent profile. Um, and what I'm really over is, it's funny because I have like a dupe, one of the Middle Eastern dupes of the actual 540, and I really love it because it's an actual like one for one clone for 540, which isn't as sickly sweet as, as a lot of the other fragrances like this, like Cloud, like, you know, just a lot of those, a lot of the ones that are coming out are really, really sweet. And those are the ones that I'm actually more tired of than the original. So anyways, all that to say, Charlotte loved this. She asked me the next day, she was like, mom, where's that perfume you were wearing yesterday? I wanna wear it. So I pulled it out and I sprayed it on her. Um, she loves this. This is one that I will probably pick up a bottle for her because she really loves it. Um, and that's the thing, I feel like this one would smell really good on like a teenage girl. Um, you know, not that it doesn't or wouldn't smell good on an adult, but it's just one of those that it's kind of got this like very juvenile quality about it. It's fine. It, the quality is really great. Um, again, it lasted forever on me, but I've been really turned off of wanting to even test the other ones now because I don't want to smell like Becker Rouge 540. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of in a dilemma because I've got three more to test and I'm just really like, I don't know. So anyways, that is Sniff Tarte Deco. That was a huge letdown for me. Um, I was not expecting for it to go that way because it's, it smells completely different on paper. Okay, let's get into, actually I'll go with this one, this next one. Um, this, I pulled out my Siren Song Elixirs, uh, Siren Song Elixirs samples that I got um, because, well, you guys would have seen the indie video that I did and I've still got them out because I think out of all of the indie houses in my collection, this is the one that I've spent the least amount of time with. So I really wanted to spend some time with these and so I pulled this one out here to wear. Um, this is called As the World Falls Down, which is, um, if you guys know the movie Labyrinth. It's from Labyrinth. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So all of these are actually oils and I love this one. This is like, I couldn't even tell you what is in this. It's fruity, it's um, actually, let me look the notes up on this. And they still have all of the fragrances that I picked up um, a long time ago, so I, and I love that. So I can ref, I can go back to the website and reference them. So as the world falls down, this is uh, peach, snow, marshmallow, vanilla, tuberose, and jasmine. 
and it is so oh my gosh it is so yummy it's like this sweet candied peach i have no idea what the snow note would smell like but you can definitely smell it because there's something in here that's like almost unidentifiable between the peach and the tuberose and the jasmine and it also really transforms the tuberose and the jasmine into something else i love this it smells incredible this thing was an absolute beast on me. I put this on in the evening thinking that it would wear off before I even went to bed. No, <laughs> um, I guess because it's an oil, but this thing, I could still smell this on me when I woke up the next morning. It is such an amazing quality oil. It lasted forever. So yeah, love Siren Song Elixirs. Um, I'm definitely gonna be working my way through those and I will put them in a what I wore last week what I wore last week video um, as I worked through those. Okay, on to the Dua fragrances that I tested this week. Um, actually, this isn't a Dua one. This is called Delightful Halwa. Yeah, it's really nice. This is one that I think I will enjoy more in cooler weather because it's definitely like, it's definitely a heavier fragrance. Okay, so yeah, this is the Dua clone of a fragrance from Ohar called Halwa Kiss. This one is pistachio, saffron, and cardamom, honey, dates, roasted nuts, rose, vanilla, sesame, and amber. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's, um, it definitely has that, wow. And a, a bottle of the real one is really expensive, wow. But anyways, it definitely has that, like a Middle Eastern vibe to it. Um, it's not super groundbreaking or anything, but it is really pretty, and I think it was too hot the day that I wore this, um, so I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna pull this back out in the cooler weather, and I think I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more. This is one that's definitely like, this is one that if I really love it in the cool weather, um, I will definitely add it to my wish list because it's a very, very beautiful fragrance. So anyways, that one is called Delightful Halwa. Um, which is Ohar Halwa Kiss. I'm sorry, I said this isn't Dua. This is Dua. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, <laughs> next we have um, this one here called Whipped Cream Coconut, no, Whipped Coconut Milk Cream, which is 1973 Sweet Coconut. This is yummy. This smells like, I don't know, it kind of smells like a cross between like a natural coconut smell, but also kind of like a sunscreeny coconut. I love it. It is so beautiful. It smells so good. This thing lasted forever. Um, I was not able to spray anything else on the day that I wore this and I could still smell this on myself when I woke up the next day. It lasted forever and I didn't even layer this over any kind of lotion. Um, so this one is amazing. I will definitely be adding this one to my wish list. Anyways, that one is called Whipped Coconut Milk Cream, which is 1973 Sweet Coconut. Okay, the next one, this is another Dua. This one is called Dark Angelica, which is Guerlain Angelique Noir. Um, it's so funny. I absolutely adore this fragrance. The Dua version, this one is absolutely incredible. Um, I haven't smelled, I had a I had a decant of Angelique Noir. I probably still have it somewhere. I have not smelled Angelique Noir for a very long time, but from what I remember, this smells exactly like it. I don't know how old her bottle is that she decanted this from, but I have a feeling that this is an old bottle. Um, this smells very well aged. It smells very well macerated and it's, it's incredible. I went to the Toyota dealership that day to pick up a part for my husband that he had ordered, and the guy at the parts counter um, asked me what I was wearing, and um, I could not for the life of me remember because you guys know like I'm constantly spraying stuff on, so I was like, oh my gosh, what did I wear this morning? What did I spray on this morning? And it's so funny because I never, ever, in my real life tell people that I'm a fragrance reviewer. Like never. When I'm out in public or talking to people or like nobody knows that I'm a fragrance reviewer. But for some reason, I just 
had for some reason it just came out to this man i was like i'm so sorry i'm a fragrance reviewer so i'm like always spraying a million different things on and i just cannot for the life of me remember it so he um he had to take my card because i don't know something was up with i don't know he had to take my card and go like run it in a different room and so um when he came back i had remembered i was like oh my gosh it was the Dua dark angelica so I remembered and I wrote it down for him and I said, I wrote down Dua Dark Angelica, but it's a clone for Guerlain Angelique Noir. And anyways, he ended up asking me, he ended up saying that he really wants to start a fragrance channel too. He said he's got like 200, like 200 bottles of fragrance and I was like oh my gosh you definitely should so anyways we sat there and talked for like maybe 15 minutes about um, me just trying to encourage him to start a channel so fingers crossed he will start a channel um, because the more the merrier but anyways this is an amazing perfume and like I said um, I got complimented on it it smells amazing. It smells exactly like the real thing. Um, I Again, I feel like this is an older bottle. Like this is probably very well macerated, but oh my gosh, this is one that's going right to the top of my wish list because I forgot how much I love this fragrance. And this Dua clone is everything. It is magic. It smells exactly like it and it's incredible. So anyways, that is Dua Dark Angelica. And then last but not least, we have this one here. This is called Door to the Bay. Um, again, Dua, which is a, I'm gonna butcher this. Well, I don't know how to say this word, but this is a clone of Diptyque Oyedo. Oyedo, I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's really, really gorgeous. This thing is very, very strong. This is an incredibly long lasting fragrance. I went very easy with this one because I can very easily make myself sick. So I knew to just take it really easy with this one, which I did. I only did a couple sprays and I, I smelled like this for at least 10 hours, at least. It lasted forever perfect in high heat. This one has this one has a really beautiful uh like greenness to it. It's really really fresh. It's a little bit warm. It's almost a little bit salty smelling like maybe it's got some ambergris in it or something. Um really beautiful. Very very long lasting. I don't think I I'm going to have to check to see if I have a sample of Oyedo. I might if I do, um, I'll definitely test them side by side and let you know if this is a really good clone. I have a feeling it probably is. So anyways, that one is called Door to the Bay and that is Diptyque Oyedo. And that is gonna be it, you guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.